Mega. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. This is a whole 10. It's a par four, 400 and something yards. Uh, I had, I hit a okay shot. Missed the fairway by just a bit, but I had my playing a Titleist four. It was probably my nine iron. Had 143 coming in to the green, and uh, I was trying to hit this spot. I hit it exactly where I wanted, but it just didn't trickle down onto this little slope. This is a, a two tier green. So I have maybe, what do you think this is? Maybe about 40, 50 feet. This is for birdie. I am plus three. You guys are looking sharp, my amigos. Bingo, bango! Man, that hit center of the cup. By the way, my competition also drained it. Uh, the guy that was to my left. Here we go. So now I'm two over. Is that right? Hole 11, part three, 137 yards. I went with my, I went with my nine iron. I was trying to fade it in, hit the top of the slope, and then trickle down to the right, but I didn't get it to do it, so I left it up on top of this hill. And that putt was very similar to the last one, in that it was downhill, maybe about 40, 50 feet, and that's a good touch right there. Oh yeah. That's good, okay. Uh, let's continue. I was <laughs> starting to really feel it with my putter. This is hole 12, par 4, 364 yards on two over. Okay, this is my three wood. It's 364, so it's not super long. You just have to place it really nicely. I hit it right in the middle, a little fade. And here I had my pitching wedge. I think I had 121 to the pin. And I was just trying to hit it on the pin in the middle. It ended up bounding this. And then once again, a little downhill, uh, left to right, probably about 40 feet. So I've kind of gotten used to this in the last three holes. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, I didn't mean for it to go that far down, but uh, regardless, I saw the ball roll right by the pin, so I knew that it was just a little right to left. That's a good putt right there. Nice par save to stay at two over. Here we go, my friends. Hole 13, par 4, 437 yards. Uh, there's big trees to the left right here. And uh, I just try to smush this. I try to bury it into the ground, almost roll it. And I hit an okay shot, uh, put it in the shade, which is great. But I had this tough lie to deal with and then the tree to the right-hand side. My competition right there to the right, that kid's name is Cameron, he's from USC college player. So I'm just trying to punch with my four iron and that's not bad. That's a good leave. I just hit it right down the middle and that left me with 68 yards. I grabbed my 60 degree wedge and I tried dunking this. This is something I've been doing lately. I've been up Because it's a 60 degree wedge, you know it's going to get a lot of lift, right? So I actually try to dunk the ball and it always comes up a little bit short and trickles to the pin. It's a very nice technique that I've been visualizing probably for about three months. And that's enough. Here we go. This is for par. About five feet. Oh, look how I jab that. You know, I had had those really long putts of about 40 feet, and yeah, that was just a little jabby right there. That was a mistake. I left it above the hole, but I just didn't, my line was wrong. Here we go, 
Hole 14, par 5, I am 3 over. 542 yards. I aim to the left-hand side. I'm just trying to fade it in. Um, but I, pu I push down. I smush this one down. I try to roll it down the fairway. And that left me with 262. I went with my three wood. I had the perfect window in. The perfect window opportunity. And I just, I screwed it up, my friends. I just bailed. There's OB to the left, so I didn't want to go OB. I ended up going far right. This is the tee box for the following hole. I ended up having to punch it because there were some trees in my way, so there's no way I could, uh, I didn't have a direct line to the green. <laughs> this is about 60 feet. It's uphill. I know that it's going to go to the left. Right, a little bit jabby. I should have followed through with uh, the putter head towards the target, and that left me about five feet for par. And I missed. Ouch! Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right. That puts me to four over. Four over. Here we go. Hole 15, par three, 209 yards. Okay, I use my four iron. Come on. I didn't get it to draw enough, but I put it in an okay spot. I should be able to get up and down fairly easily right here. Man, I'm having a lot of really long putts. This has got to be about 60 feet right here. Okay. Man, that's going fast. I thought I, I put a really good touch on that. And it's not bad just that I didn't want to hit it that far past. I would even rather be a little bit short uh, because I was just trying to lag it. All right, so this is uh, about five feet coming back for par. Oh, and I just pulled that. The last two putts I jabbed. Actually, the last three, I'm sorry. The last three putts I jabbed. A little stabby, and I am now five over on the day. Here we go. Hole 16, par five, 522 yards. Okay, I think I was a little bit frustrated. I went softer right there with my swing. I was just trying to manage. Uh, it faded too far to the right. I don't know if maybe I got nervous and I didn't wipe down my hands because of sweat. I probably should have. So I used my driver right here. It was pretty thick to get through and I ended up hitting a branch right in the front. And that left me with my seven iron. I was about 171 yards out. Put it here to this spot, and now I have to get over this little mound. I use my 60 degree wedge. I try to dunk it again into the hole. It hit in a good spot. Ended up going just to the right of the pin, and this is five feet for par. Oh, yeah. That's right, Bob. There he goes. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the stay at five over. That was a good up and down right there. This is hole 17, par four, 401 yards. I put it in the middle, nice and easy. Nice. And then I had 121 in right okay. there. I used my pitching wedge. Uh, that ball didn't fade at all, but it's okay. I left it in an okay spot. It gives me maybe about 25 feet right here, maybe 30 feet for birdie. That's a good, that's a good uh, lag right there. Maybe a little bit short, but that left me two and a half feet. For par, and that's nice. Oh yeah! Here we go. This is hole 18, par 5, 470 yards. I was 
five over. Ink that a little bit. I was trying to fade it in, follow the contour of the hole. It did not fade on me. And then that left me with my six iron right here. 12, maybe 220 in. So I just try to punch it low, keep it right in the middle. And I did, I did an okay job, but it, it got into this kind of bushy stuff right here. Oh, I put the perfect touch on that. It lipped out. It was a little bit aggressive, and that leaves me maybe about five feet for birdie downhill to the left to right. Here we go. And that's nice, my amigos. 76 on the day. Um, yeah, that's not bad considering how I started. I started a little bit rough and then I had a lot of birdies to kind of counter it. So uh, that's not bad, my friends. Stay tuned for the second round. It's probably going to be a little bit because I've got a bunch of other competition videos to show you guys. And uh, I need to start editing a lot of stuff. But thanks so much for tuning in. I was 76 on the day. I'll leave the stats right here.